Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing a all day wear test slash first impression. Okay, I may have wore this a few times. So it's gonna be a first impression on camera, how about that? In fact, I actually um, did this video and then after a full work day, like 14 hours, I came home, put on my oil to take off my makeup and realized I didn't film the end. Uh, so I am redoing this video because I just had to. Even though it's not a total, total first impression video at this point, I will say I like these two products. And so let me tell you a little bit about the product. So we have the Cover Proof Foundation, this Wonder 2. It says Miracle Skin in under two minutes. What you're gonna get ready to see in this video is that I wonder if the perfect skin in two minutes means that's the dry time. That's the downside to this foundation is that it stays tacky for a while and doesn't dry down as fast as I'm accustomed to with other foundations. So I, I'm not sure about the Miracle Skin in two minutes, but maybe that's what they expect for dry time. This is a cover proof 24 hour flawless foundation and it says foundation reinvented. Okay, I, I don't keep my foundation on for 24 hours, but I would like a full work day with flawless skin. I would like to have a, um, not just a full work day, but sometimes I go to after events for works. It would be nice to have a foundation that doesn't break up on those extra long days. A little bit more that you may want to know about the Cover Proof Foundation is that it's supposed to be a breakthrough long wear foundation that literally reinvents makeup. As much as makeup changes, it gets reinvented all the time. This is a Cover Proof Revolutionary Triplex Long Wear Complex. A lot of plexes going on there. It works on three interconnecting levels to deliver long wear performance that's ultra comfortable and exceptionally nourishing. So level one is a dimensional pigments form a transfer proof, waterproof, and budge proof. So again, when, it, when something says that it's transfer proof, I love that. I use a cell phone a lot, I'm on the go, and one of the things that I absolutely hate is when I'm using my cell phone, I pull it away from my face and it looks like a foundation hot mess. I hate that. Waterproof for me is not a big deal because my face doesn't go into water until it's time to take off my makeup or take a shower. So, But the budge proof again is something that I really, really am interested in. It says the veil for hours, the, the transfer proof, waterproof and budge proof veil for hours of flawless coverage. Level Two, special polymers form a flexible matrix that moves with your skin for the ultimate and comfort. Now that one confused me because what does it have in it that it makes it move with your skin any different than any other foundation? That just sounded kind of weird to me. Almost like are we really putting on a rubber mask and it adheres to our face? I don't know. It just sounded funny to me. Sorry. Level three. Poly Glow Polymer with unique microparticles add natural luminosity to your complexion. Cover Proof also features an advanced multivitamin complex super hydration and antioxidant protection for glowing, healthy looking skin. So am I, am I glowing? Am I glowing? Do I look like I'm healthy? But anyways, um, all joking aside, I am really excited to put out this video and really take a moment at the end of the day and do my little mirror test to see, did it break up on my chin? How did it do around my nose and my forehead? Because again, when I came home from work the other night, I was so tired, I, it just didn't dawn on me that I needed to do my, my end of day um, video. So, whew, it's kind of stuck there for a moment in my head. The other thing that I used with their foundation is the Wonder 2 Perfect Selfie HD Finishing Powder. So that's what I put on anywhere that I had highlighted. 
It's a perfect selfie finishing powder. It's the easy way to a filter flawless skin in real life, formulated with high resolution powder technology. This ultra soft bouncy powder magically transforms skins to become poreless and pixel perfect. We all like pixel perfect. The ultimate finish to your makeup look in under two minutes without the use of a photo filter. I absolutely love that too. So really and truthfully, as I'm looking at my skin where I put it, I do like how this Wonder 2 HD finishing powder worked. I liked it so much that yes, I am going to keep this as I'm going to keep this foundation. So hopefully by the end of today, I will not forget to do the final review so that you can kind of see how this foundation performed on my skin. Again, my skin is a combo skin. I get oily in the T-zone. I always have trouble with most foundations breaking up in this area here. For whatever reason, foundation does not stick to my nose and chin. It hates me. It absolutely hates me. So we're going to see if the cover proof actually sticks to my nose and chin or if it breaks up. How does that breakup look? And are we going to break up? I don't know. So anyways, I hope you are ready to stay and see how this foundation performs. Okay, Here we go. so this cover proof foundation is an N20 light. So I'm gonna get my handy dandy little brush and I'm gonna squirt some on here. Hold that thought. I'll try to wipe some of this off. We're gonna use Scandinavia the Makeup Primer Spray Oil Control. And we're gonna let that sit for a moment. So while that's sitting, I have to tell you guys, this will be the second time I'm filming this because I'm brilliant. I am brilliant. I actually did an all day wear test. And when I say all day wear test, it was like maybe 15 hours. And so I got home super late and just had put oil to remove my makeup, put it all over. And as I looked, I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't film the end. This all day wear test, I don't think is going to be 15 hours, but we are going to do it anyways. And I will tell you my first impression on it is that I really liked it. This will be my third time wearing this. Technically, this isn't a first impressions anymore. My first impressions on this video, on this video, oh, my video. The first impressions on this foundation is I already like it. So I like it a lot. So now we're gonna hopefully be able to really look at the the end result at the end of today and be able to put that out there for you. So when you put this foundation on, the one thing that I noticed is it is tacky. So it takes a moment to kind of dry down and they mentioned that in the box and I'll get into that in another segment or I may have already gotten into it by the time I do the beginning. I just never know because those all get filmed at the end. Um, it does stay tacky for a bit. However, using the brush, it just, it goes on really, really nice. I mean, it just, it's a pretty foundation. Making sure my chin isn't I covered it appropriately. Yeah, I mean, this foundation is just really, really good. So I'm going to go ahead and at least we'll do the tart under the eyes as it dries down. Judge my ugly sponge. It is so miscolored. Bless it. Okay, so now I've got the tart on. It's still a little tacky, believe it or not. That's the only downside so far with this foundation is that it really does need a moment to dry down. So I'm just going to keep going. Oops. Now, I hate when I do this. I do one cheek up and one cheek down. Gee, many Christmas. All right, so now let's feel it. Yeah, see, it's still tacky. So I just find that very interesting that it takes a moment to dry down. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up the Wonder 2 Perfect Selfie Powder that's made by the same brand. And we are going to selfie powder it up on the spots that I highlighted. I'll go ahead and take, I'm going to use a MAC NC15 powder for the rest of my face. So now we've got it dried down. Yep. All is good. And even though it was still a little tacky when I put it on the powder, the powder is not clumping. It's not giving a muddy look. It just went on really nice and kind of now I feel like I have almost an airbrush look for my skin. I am going to finish my makeup and then I'll be back. All right, so it's the end of almost 14 hours solid. And if my makeup and hair and clothes look different from the video, this is take three. So I decided not to do the whole video for a third time all over again, only to miss the end piece. So it's, I've had a lot of 14 hour days and for whatever reason I get home and I remember to do the, the end, the all day wear test piece after I've already taken off my makeup. So today I stuck little notes throughout the house knowing that I was going to be late so that I would not forget to film at least this bit. So I've had obviously a chance to use this foundation multiple times. It, so it's not really a first impression anymore, but I will say it's kind of becoming my go-to foundation when I know that I'm going to have a 14-hour day. So let's take a look at end of day. I am impressed. So let me back up a little bit more. I haven't been able to take allergy medication at all, and I was taking a lot just because I'm a human fountain. And so I went ahead and had to do an allergy test today, but they make you quit taking allergy medicine for about a week ahead of time to see what you're really allergic to. Basically, I'm allergic to the state of Texas. Everything that grows in Texas, including the dirt, which I know you can't grow dirt, I think I'm allergic to. So it was kind of an interesting day today. And I bring up the fact that I, I didn't have allergy medicine for a while because this makeup held up really good and I had the sniffling, sneezing, itchy um, eyes and nose and check out this makeup. So I'm going to try to go ahead and flip my camera to an autofocus. Uh, autofocus. And check this out. Okay, so what's missing on my chin is because I was resting once again on my chin. Check out my nose. I know that's not exactly fun to say, but for the most part, I only have a little bit of breaking up right there. And I do have some cakiness or some, you know, breaking up right in this section here and this section here. Again, I kept my chin on my hands as I was thinking today. My forehead ha held up well. I mean, even with my watery eyes, you can kind of see where it pulled away a little bit from my watery eyes, but again, not bad. And mind you, this, this has been on 14 hours without touch up. So I put on powder this morning before I left and I'm going to kind of zoom back out and take it off autofocus because it makes horrible noise. Okay. So now we got it normal. So anyways, I um, did not powder at all today. I didn't even touch up my lipstick. Look at this makeup geek. It held up pretty nice all day. My eyeshadow stayed on really nice. My eyeliner stayed on really nice. I guess, I don't know. I use the foundation all over my face as a base, including my eyelids. And I'm just impressed with how well it held up after almost 14 hours. I think we're about 15 minutes from a full 14 hour workday. Now, as far as the budge proof bit and the smear proof and the pillow proof, whatever, whatever, I, for me, I have oily skin or combo skin. And so as I talked on the phone today, I could pull it, the phone away and 
you don't really see a whole lot on there. So let me try my right side. Again, talking on the phone, chat, 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 pressing against the chin. Now that's more of what it looked like. So you get a little bit of that kind of fuzziness from the grease or oil lifting grease. It did earlier in the day kind of transfer a little bit more cloudy on the phone, but overall it wasn't like some of the other foundations that it's like eh, foundation all across the, the front. So I'm wondering for the dry skin girls, is this the transfer proof, budge proof, pillow proof foundation? So if any of y'all have dry skin and you've tried this foundation, is it budge proof for you? For me, with the combo oily skin, it still comes off, but oh my gosh, not really at all. Shoot, my mascara is flaking more than the actual foundation coming off. I really do like this cover proof uh, foundation for me. So again, I keep wearing it as I know I have really long days because it's held up the best. And um, yeah, I pretty much like it. So on a scale of one to 10, where am I? I'm probably a solid nine on this one also. If it really was budge proof or transfer proof, it would get a 10 or way surpass a 10 being a magical 11. But it, it did still transfer on my phone. So I give it a solid nine. This is like now my one of my go-to foundations for a very long period of time. Thank you so much for watching this video using a first impression all day wear test using the Cover Proof Foundation and the Wonder 2 Perfect Selfie. So if you have any comments or questions, please put those below. And as always, you have a choice. So make it a great one. Until next time.